What we need to understand is that the digital world is invisible. <laughs> the digital realm is a invisible realm. Also, what is very interesting is that the spiritual realm also is an invisible realm. It's an invisible realm. Now, what it is, is that to experience these invisible realms, you need a tool or you need tools. Let me give you an example. See, for us to interact with the digital realm, the digital world, okay, we know it's invisible. We need a tool or we need tools to be able to do that. Now, one of the tools we can use is probably Oculus or some sort of virtual reality goggles where we can begin to see into the digital dimension or we could use a phone because remember something social media is invisible you can't actually see social media with the naked eye you can't see it it doesn't exist you can't see it where we are today it doesn't exist you can't see it the only way for you to see social media is with a tool like a mobile phone without this mobile phone you cannot see social media. You cannot interact with Facebook. You cannot even interact with Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. You can't interact with any of that or any of those digital media without using a tool or apparatus, all right? But it's there, but you need apparatus. Now, what we need to understand is that this is quite powerful. See, for us as human beings, as us because remember we're spiritual beings as well our spirit is invisible our spirit is invisible now for us as spiritual beings to be able to interact with this glorious earth that the lord did create to be able to enjoy its glory to enjoy its for example its hidden wonders all that scenery all that see all that glory all right for us to be able to experience that the smells the taste to, to, the touch okay we need a tool we need apparatus and what is the tool that we need we need a body we have a body without this body you cannot interact with the earth realm you cannot interact with the stuff that is here you can't eat food if you haven't got a body you're not going to be able to eat any food you ain't going to be able to walk you're not going to be able to interact with what's going on in the earth realm what you need to understand as well is that demons haven't got bodies demons are invisible entities as well they're spirits they're invisible you can't see them with the naked eye but you know what they cannot interact with the physical realm without what without a body so demons are always out there in that in the spiritual realm looking for bodies to inhabit the bible speaks about this everywhere they're looking for bodies to inhabit so that they so so that they can interact with this physical realm demons know that they cannot interact with the physical realm without a body so they're always trying to hijack bodies always trying to hijack bodies we see this throughout the whole of the old testament new testament we see it in the world today people's bodies being hijacked by evil spirits why because they want to interact with the physical realm and they want to start to create mischief see a lot of people that are creating mischief in the physical realm the earth realm they are people that has been hijacked by evil spirits it's going to get really really interesting what i'm going to say the bible speaks about it or it teaches that we at some point well definitely when we die we are going to take off corruption and put on incorruption we're going to take off mortality and put on immortality we're going to receive spiritual bodies we're going to receive a new body the body that jesus christ purchased back for us at calvary because there are many things that christ purchased for us at calvary and it wasn't just for our spirit and all the sins to be washed away he also purchased back our original body that was lost because of adam's sin the bible teaches that we are going to be putting off this tabernacle and putting on a heavenly tabernacle clothing ourselves with a heavenly tabernacle which is from god and it's something that the bible says we need to strive to get to obtain 
it's a direction we need to go into because like I said if you get into the eternal realms and you haven't got you haven't got that new body you're gonna you can't interact with life you can't interact with help with with eternal life you can't interact with the father you can't have fellowship with the father in the spiritual realm and what happens is you end up going into the lake of fire now what's really interesting for us is that because we're born again our spirit is blood washed blood bought we now have an a tool our spirit is now alive the bible says that our spirit's been quickened by the holy ghost it says that in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 saying that we was dead in trespass and sin but now the Holy Spirit has quickened us and now we are made alive see even though we're on the earth realm because we are born again we can have fellowship with the Lord right now see what you will see is that many people who are not saved they don't they can't know who the Lord Jesus Christ is they can't fellowship with him they don't even know who he is because they haven't got the apparatus they haven't got the body the understanding the knowledge to be able to fellowship so they're in total darkness all the time so what i'm saying for us is that we're in a privileged position right now and we're very very privileged where we can actually speak to god one-on-one -on -one. and we know that when we die we will have eternal fellowship with the father in the spiritual realm forevermore and we understand these things but there's people out there today who don't have that understanding and they don't know that they're going to be going into a place of the lake of fire because they, have, they will not be inheriting their heavenly tabernacle. They will not be inheriting their, um, their resurrected body that, the, that Christ has prepared for us. They won't have that. I want to say that we're living in times where it's crazy and dire and we need to be able to spread the word of God to the lost and speak to the lost because it's very very serious because if you don't have the apparatus you don't have the the tool to be able to navigate the spiritual realm to interact with the spiritual you're going to find yourself in big trouble 